Hi everyone. So today I will be talking to you about how to prepare and administer eye drop uh, into premature baby's eye before screening for retinopathy of premature. So it might look very simple anyway it's just an eye drop but there are safety concerns because of the systemic uh, absorption. So you will be surprised to know that 80% of the eye drop enters the systemic circulation via nasal mucosa and this could be life threatening cardiovascular, respiratory, central nervous system and gastrointestinal adverse effects have been reported. And these adverse effects are like hypertension, hypotension, tachycardia, bradycardia, apnea, cardiopulmonary arrest, seizures, necrotizing enterocolitis, sepsis, and sometimes even death. So we have to be very, very careful while preparing and administering the eye drop. So basically, the commercially available eye drop cannot be used directly and we have to dilute it. So what we require is a tuberculin syringe, a tropic acid plus eye drop and uh, distilled water. So here in this video, I'm drawing uh, to a tropic acid plus eye drop in uh, the tuberculin syringe. I have drawn about 0.3 ml, but any amount could be drawn. You could even draw 0.1 ml or 0.2 ml. And uh, once this is drawn, I also draw distilled water, equal amount of distilled water uh, into this uh, tuberculin syringe. So basically, a 1 is to 1 ratio of tropic acid plus and distilled water has to be drawn. So, you, so I draw about 0.3 ml of uh, distilled water into the tuberculin syringe and um, once this is done, I draw a little bit of air and uh, so that the tropic acid plus and distilled water is mixed well so i achieve a concentration of 2.5 percent phenylephrine uh, so next would be instilling the eye drop again it would sound very simple but it so happens that uh, sometimes after instilling the drop we may not be sure whether the eye drop has reached the baby's eye and then we instill another drop and then another so finally the eye is flooded with eye drop so then the baby is at risk for adverse events so it's very important to instill the eye drop carefully so this video would show you how the eye drop is instilled so take prepared diluted dilating eye drops remove the needle from the syringe very important remove the needle wipe the eyelid with sterile gauze and uh, cotton so what i'm doing now is to uh, wiping the eyelid because sometimes if it's wet it becomes very difficult to retract the eyelid so the needle is removed and uh, one drop of uh, eye drop is instilled now with tuberculin syringe it's uh, you get a controlled uh, moment so you can control the uh, installation of eye drop you can also label the tuberculin syringe as a diluted uh, eye drop so i haven't labeled in this video but it is a good thing to label the eye drop syringe too so after installing the eye drop it is important that uh, excess eye drop is uh, removed wiped from the cheek so two installation of each of these eye drops five minutes apart is uh, usually sufficient pupil dilates in about 15 to 20 minutes and it uh, the effect remains for about 30 to 45 minutes sometimes even one drop of this is sufficient provided the examination is done quickly and you cannot delay it beyond 20 minutes because then the pupil would start constricting so this is what we came across we saw a child who had developed periorbital pallor following installation of uh, eye drop now this was because the excess drop was not wiped away from the eye area so phenylephrine eye drop uh, was absorbed dermally and which caused vasoconstriction resulting in periorbital pallor so our aim is to achieve side effect free low concentration and micro drop administration into baby's eye and to keep our baby safe from adverse effect, effect, effects due to phenylephrine and tropicamide. So thank you very much.